I'm here to show you a video on uh, changing a water heater element while the hot water heater is actually filled. A lot of people have shown videos on doing this on YouTube, but I've got a little innovation to make it better. First thing you want to do is while you have your water heater on, double check that you actually show current. You see 243 volts here on your probe. So set your voltmeter and keep checking until you see voltage. Go ahead and shut the thing off, mom. And then you'll see when she shuts it off that the voltage goes to zero. There we go. That's the best way to know that you've actually shut it off because if you get no reading on it, maybe you're just testing it incorrectly. So have it on to do your initial test, then make sure it goes off. So the first thing you wanna do then is get your wires out of the element. Make sure you have your new element handy. All right, so once you have your wires disconnected and you're sure that you've positively checked that your power was off and then disconnected your wires, um, the next most important thing you wanna do is turn the water off to your hot water tank. You don't want any pressure on your hot water tank at all. So to do that, you can open up that, that's fine. Basically, you turn the valve off to your hot water heater. That's up here. And then you open up one of your sinks, the hot water side, and turn the hot water side on so that that's relieving the pressure. At that point, your pressure is relieved from the tank, and you can go ahead and remove your element. This is a little two liter soda bottle thing that I've come up with, and this is the part that people don't know about. They um, they use a bunch of towels and make a bit of a mess. With the little two liter soda bottle, you can see it's catching everything and it fits right in there. So this water is gonna be hot. You wanna have your element handy. I would recommend still having towels just in case. But at this point, now shut that off, mom. Shut that sink off right now. Shut the sink. Did you have the sink shut? Yeah, that should have been done first. If you shut the sink beforehand, you have a closed system where there's no way she had the sink still open and that would have all been all over the floor. But you saw, because this was here, everything went into the bucket. And there's not even a Dixie cup worth of, not even a, a teaspoon or a tablespoon of water on the floor, that's it. Elements changed and all the water went right into there. So a little tiny two liter soda bottle trick. And you can change your element without any mess. There's the old one and the new one's in. You just have to hook it back up, turn your water back on, turn your power back on and you're good to go. That's it. Thanks for watching.